Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,256. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,255 to 1,256 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we actually want to see what happens if your grouped dates in a pivot table become undone when you refresh. Now, before we get to our pivot table, we want to look at our data set here. We have a marine data set with marine animals, the date, and the count. And our goal is to count each animal by month and year. So we're going to have to group this column into months and years. And it will work initially, and then we'll run into a particular problem. I'm going to create a pivot table, insert pivot table, or the keyboard Alt-N-V. Now I'm going to put it on this existing sheet. Location is going to be E1 and click OK. Now I'm going to drag the date down to rows, and I instantly get a unique list of the dates from this column, even though there are many duplicates. But I, I want to group these, so I'm going to right click Group. And this is an amazing feature. I can say months and years. Click OK. Look at that. Now, from serial number daily dates, I have years and months. Now I'm going to come over here. This is our pivot table field list. I'm going to drag years over to columns. So now I get a cross tabulated table. And now from the pivot table field list, I'm going to actually drag values down here. And now I want to add a slicer for each one of the species here. So I'm going to come up, Analyze Pivot Table Ribbon, and Insert Slicer and Species. Click OK. Now I'm going to come up to Columns and maybe say three columns. There's a lot of species here. I think that'll approximately fit. But that's not really the point of this video. We're going to run into a problem where we're going to need to solve it. But see, I can click on any one of these, and boom, there are my counts. That's beautiful, because it was really convenient that the pivot table grouped this. But now, this is an Excel table. We converted a proper data set by going Insert and click it on the table feature. And the beauty of that is when I control down arrow, now when I come down to the bottom and type a new entry, let's just see what happens. Tab, and this was on 11 slash 1 slash 2015 tab, and there were three. Now, I'm going to hit Enter here because I don't. if I hit Tab, I add a new record. So I'm going to hit Enter, Control Home to jump up to the top. Now I want to come over. I'm here at the top. Before I refresh the pivot table, I want to select on that species right there. And notice for November 2015, there's nothing there because we didn't have it. But now let's right click and refresh the pivot table. And sure enough, it shows up. So far, we don't have a problem. By the way, it says column labels and row labels. I'm going to go change that design report layout. Show in tabular, because I like to have my date and years, the actual names of the fields. Now, let's run into a problem. Control down arrow. Here we go. I'm going to hit. Now, notice I'm in the last cell in the last record. So when I hit tab, a new record is created. So I'm going to add that species. 11-1-2015 tab 5. Now watch this. I'm going to accidentally hit Tab. That's innocent enough, right? I forgot I was entering lots of records. But let's just see what happens. Control Home, come up here, right click, refresh. What in the world happened? Click here, Control Down Arrow. The problem is dates in a pivot table, if you're grouping, are very sensitive. This is a data mismatch, an empty cell, or a date as text, or anything that's not a proper serial number date will cause the dates to become ungrouped, because you can't group when there's a data type mismatch. All I'm going to do is I'm going to point to this corner here, click and drag this up, Control Home. And now when I right click Group by month and year, and drag year over to the columns, instantly the pivot table understands because there's no data mismatch in this column. 
So if you're using the table feature, be sure not to have that last row as an empty row if you're grouping dates. Or for that matter, be sure that all of your dates are actual proper serial number dates, no text, no empty cells. All right, we'll see you next trick.